Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here, back with a video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com. And today we're going to be starting a look in our little video series of the looks at the redesigned applications in Android 4.1. We're going to take a look at, you know, the Google Plus application, a whole bunch of other stuff. But we're going to start off here, what better place to start than with the YouTube application. So this is a look at the redesigned YouTube app, and it's got a different, a bit of a layout here with the new operating system. And you guys will see this on Android 4.0 and 4.1. Basically, it starts off here with all of your subscriptions. So once you sign in, you'll have a list here of all of your subscriptions and the videos that they're uploading. Also, when I turn it sideways here, you'll be able to see that they are uh, side by side now. So you get two wide with these big thumbnails. I think that's pretty cool. It shows the title of the video in white text over the thumbnail. So that's pretty cool, that's your subscription box. But it's taken a hint from the old Spotify application and the old Google Plus application and you can either tap this button up here or you can just swipe in from the side to reveal your accounts and channels. And these are all the channels that you're subscribed to on YouTube and this is an infinitely scrolling list of all the channels you're subscribed to. And you can go ahead and view the individual activity of a single channel just by tapping on its name and now you have all the videos from that particular channel. Again, side by side or whatever you want. You can also sort by activity to show all the activity. So if they show like the video they liked or added to a playlist or rated, that'll show up here. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, the also interesting new feature of the new YouTube app, if you can go ahead and view your channel here, is this the channel layout. It goes through the same way you can upload a video from the application and you can scroll down and look at all your own videos. This is reminiscent of how the old app looked. If I go back here, you'll be able to see that you can instantly subscribe to new channels just by hitting that button here. So if you go back, you just hit the Add Channels button and you can find some new channels to subscribe to. Say I want to subscribe to one of these, I would just hit the plus button underneath it and it would subscribe me to that channel. You can also hit that search button here and say we want to search for a channel called D3. You'll see that it searches only channels. So that's pretty cool that you have the ability to feature and filter. But everything else is essentially the same. The search functions are the same, the sorting functions are the same, uh, but the looks are definitely pretty new with Android 4.0 and 4.1 for the new YouTube app. So go ahead and leave a comment below if you have a specific suggestion for the next app we're going to take a look at. It's probably going to be Google Plus or something else with a major redesign. Either way, let me know, and that's been it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.